hello everyone, it's me Mary or Hawk. I do sound sick because I am sick. You know, today I feel sick and I want to talk about the crystals that I'm using to help myself feel better. Um, note that crystal healing is not a replacement for seeing a doctor or actual medical treatment. Please pursue actual medical treatment if and when it's possible. I understand that for some people, certain medications and treatments do not work for them and they are at the end of the rope and they need something that will work even if it may or may not be a placebo. And I understand that this is not medical advice, by the way. Nothing I say here is medical advice. I'm just saying I understand why people are drawn to crystal healing. That is part of why I am drawn to crystal healing. Um, I'd say use it alongside actual medical treatment if and when possible. Uh, this is not a replacement for actual medical treatment. This should be used alongside. Every person's needs are different, however, and choose whatever crystals call for you. Call to you, even if it's not mentioned here in this video. Also, a disclaimer, another disclaimer, I live in an apartment and the people upstairs moved out and so the maintenance people are doing renovations. So if background noise bothers you, this may not be the channel or video for you. I'm sorry. Um, I You hear that stepping right now, probably. Um, there's not much I can do about that. There's going to be power tool noises. It's going to distract me because of my ADHD. But if that bothers you, you're going to want to find a different channel or video. I'm sorry, that's just life. They're doing renovations for upstairs for a couple weeks, and I'm not just going to put my channel on hold for that. It's just life. So with that being said, I want to talk about the crystals I'm using personally in my life to help myself feel better. All the disclaimers aside, I'm going to get straight into it. Whether you believe in crystal healing or not, or you think it's one big comedy that's entirely subjective, you do you. Uh, the first crystal I'm using is Smoky Quartz. Smoky Quartz is good for protection, bringing your body into equilibrium, inner peace, restoring energy, grounding, and balance. And boy, do I need grounding and balance because they're doing work in the room right above mine. How brilliant while I'm filming. Anyways, I need all the balance I can get when I feel sick, so this is going to help bring my body back into balance, I think. The next crystal is Tiger's Eye. Tiger's Eye is good for courage, strength, grounding, energy, and vitality. It is good for a lot of things, those things included. And when I feel sick, I need a lot of energy. But I don't want it to be like head in the clouds, like I'm all loopy all over the place energy like one feels when they're sick sometimes. I want it to be grounded. I want it to be balanced. I want it to feel like I'm stable, uh, like I would when I'm not sick. So this really helps with that. The next crystal here is Serpentine. Serpentine is a nice crystal. It's good for compassion, love, purification, cellular regeneration, energetic blockages, um, being freed. That's what it's good for, like clearing energetic blockages. By the way, a lot of this information I either get intuitively or from this book or doing research and also how it works for me. So like I, it's a mixture of doing research from books like that and online and also like doing what works for me. But yeah, serpentine is good for all that stuff. Next crystal is a little bit more intuitive. I went through these crystals intuitively, so uh, take that as you will. But the next crystal is charoite. I don't know if the purple is showing up on camera. It doesn't look too purple on camera, but in person it's pretty purple and black. Uh, it comes from Russia. Uh, charoite is good for intuition, boundaries. Like, keeping boundaries in place can be hard when you're sick sometimes, so this helps with that. Um, it's also good for positivity, staying positive, which is something I need when I feel sick. I already got mental health issues. Physical issues tends to make everything go down the drain mentally, so this really helps with that. Helps with pain relief physical strength, and inner peace. And yeah, I need that char white, man. <laughs> Next crystal is amethyst. Amethyst is good for protection, peace, balance. It's good for migraines, which I get a lot um, because of my sensory issues. I'm autistic and I'm just migraine prone. It's a fam familial thing. So like, yeah, this helps with my migraines. Believe it or not, it actually helps, whereas pain meds do not. So take that with, as you will. Amethyst helps me. It helps with my overall health. Helps with sleep, getting sleep, which can be hard when you're sick sometimes, and when you have depression. Um, it helps with calming the nervous system as well. Amethyst is really fantastic for that. The next crystal is a little bit of a lesser known one. It's called Blue Amphibole. Uh, it has a lot of rainbows inside. I'm not sure if the camera is doing it justice, but this is a beautiful dark blue-gray crystal. This is good for strengthening communication, getting over obstacles, inner peace, and clearing blockages. Which, man, if it could clear out that sickness for me, that'd be great. <laughs> I don't feel well, so hopefully this will help aid in that. Even if it's just by way of placebo, I'm going to will it and it's going to happen. So, uh, yeah, that's going to help. The next crystal I find really helps is uh, Amazonite. It helps with tranquility, which, yeah, I need a lot of inner peace when I'm sick. Um, pain relief. 
both um, from being sick because my throat hurts, but also I'm PMSing right now and this stuff actually helps me. I don't know what it is in Amazonite. Um, I used to, ha I do still have it. This pyramid, I have like a raw peas tumble. I keep this thing on me when I'm on my period or PMSing and it helps me. I don't know why, it just does. So, um, it could be placebo, I don't know, I don't care, it works, so that's why I like this. Puts pain relief, helps with recovery, comfort, communication, and easing a troubled mind, which when you got mental health issues like I do, yeah, you're gonna want that when you feel physically sick as well. The next crystal is Blue Lace Agate. I'm not sure if you can see the laces on there. It's a little banding, it's a very subtle banding, but it's there, I swear it's there. It's like right there, yeah, you see that? You see that? And you hear my kettle in the background, yeah. Blue Lace Agate's good for peace, serenity, trust, empathy, relief, um, respiratory relief, and self-acceptance, which when you have like a respiratory issue like I have, I swear it's either RSV or COVID, one of those two, um, this helps, I swear it helps. I'm staying um, quarantined, by the way, because I ain't going out in public if I got COVID. Vaccinated and everything, I just get it still, so I don't know. Um, next crystal is Lapidolite. Um, Lipidolite is good for peace, balance, harmony, healing, tranquility, focus, nervous system restoration, and sleep. Um, Lipidolite actually contains a lot of lithium. It's like a purple mica, and that's what gives Lipidolite its purple color. And, um, you know, lithium's used in, in, like, mood stabilization medications, so, like, this does help. I swear this up. This is a more raw piece, but, like... Yeah, Lapidolite, get you some Lapidolite if you struggle with, like, things, like, regarding your mood, your mental health. I swear Lapidolite helps, like, a lot with that. It helps with anxiety for me. I wouldn't say it replaces medication, but it helps alongside it. I like Lapidolite for that. Next crystal is green calcite. Green calcite is good for rejuvenation, stress relief, heart healing, and emotional health. Which, again, when you feel physically sick, a lot of the times your emotional and mental health goes down the toilet. It just goes down the drain. Um, that's just the reality for a lot of people, and myself included. So I'm like, if any of you struggle with things the way I struggle with things, this is going to help you. I'm doing you a solid. So yeah, sometimes you need that extra boost. Also, it's a pretty crystal. So also boosts my emotional health that way. The next crystal is the good old rose quartz. Rose quartz is good for unconditional love, self-love, compassion, uh, chest and love, lung rejuvenation, and reproductive pain things, uh, the crystal healing things I've seen online, and from what I've experienced, too, this really does help with, like, reproductive pain, like, as it does deal with a lot of things centered around there, and also, like, for whatever reason, I feel more soothed. Uh, I feel less, like, coughing when I hold this. So, like, it really does help me personally. I'm not sure about you, but it helps me. Next one is scolocyte. Scolocyte is good for inner peace, uh, soothing harmony recharging your energy and guidance because sometimes you need that like intuitive guidance when you don't feel too good you know like like i don't feel good and i don't trust my judgment right now because i feel sick my mind's clouded that helps give that helps connect you to your guides and it'll help give you guidance your intuition your guides all that so uh yeah i think that really does help it helps me personally so uh, that counts for something i think <laughs> The next crystal is selenite. Selenite, or satin spar as some people call it, this variety, is good for healing, protection, harmony, authenticity, pain relief, and balance. And I swear to you, when I'm on my period or PMSing, uh, this helps me a lot. And you might be like, why do you keep mentioning your period? Well, I get a lot of period pain. Like, I have very severe period pain. Pain medication doesn't even touch a double max dose of two different types of pain meds, like NSAID and non-NSAID doesn't even do anything for me on my period. But for whatever reason, this crystal here is selenite and this crystal here, amazonite, it helps me. Whereas pain meds don't. So like, if it helps me, that's saying something. That's why I mentioned like helping my period pain as being such a big deal. Cause I got two uteruses. If you didn't know how, yes, I have two uteruses. Uh, yeah. I didn't know it was possible either until the doctor told me. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, I have two uteruses and very probable endometriosis, so the fact it helps me, um, yeah, I'm just letting all the uterus havers out there, uh, know that, yeah, that might help you when you're on your period. Also, there's Golden Healer. Golden Healer is good for confidence, happiness, empathy, clearing blockages, it gives you that extra vitality, energy boost, and joy. Um, yeah, I need all the happiness I can get when I feel physically miserable. So I am going to take this golden healer and use it. 
Uh, the next crystal is Shungite. Shungite is good for uh, detoxing, like absorbing these things that are making you feel sick. And I mean, whether or not you believe in EMFs, I mean, like this says it. It's said that this blocks EMFs, and it can actually detoxify water. Like I wouldn't drink something with shungite in it, but like when they put like lots of heavy metals in water, they put some shungite in there. They found the shungite absorbed it, so I think or radiation, one of the two. Don't quote me. You should probably look into the study yourself. There is an actual study out there, but it does detoxify water to a degree. It's also good for grounding purification, balance, vitality, and stamina, which I do need all those things when I feel sick. And if it helps absorb some of that sickness away from me, I can cleanse it possibly. That'd be great. Not sure if it really works that way, but, um, you know, if it helps me, that, that that's great, right? <laughs> that's all I can really ask for. And the last crystal is this milky candle quartz. It's just a clear quartz, but it's like milky and kind of like has all these little spines and manifestations around it. Um, and this is good for soothing, Quartz is the master healer, amplifies those healing energies, gives clarity, energy, and pain relief. And I need all those healing energies that I have from all these other stones amplified, so that's what I use for this, this for. And it's like more soothing because it's more milky and soft. It's less like clear and sharp and strong amplification. It just feels more soft and soothing comparatively to like something like a Herkimer Diamond or Lemurian or just regular clear quartz. This feels a lot more soothing. So I go for this milky candle quartz instead, or any milky quartz will do really. It doesn't have to be milky candle quartz. You, honestly, if you got yourself some of those like milky white quartz like gravel from outside and you cleansed it and stuff, you could use that too. You don't have to use something fancy like this milky candle quartz. You can use just regular old white quartz gravel from outside. In fact, I really want to go and grab that for you guys. This video is getting pretty long and I'm not sure we have the, everyone has the attention spans for that, but yeah, you can just get yourself some of this. This has the same sort of energy. It's just maybe even more soothing. It's more calm and soothing than say something like that. You can tell it's the same, same crystal, both the same hardness. Don't worry, it's not going to hurt itself. Same hardness, same crystal. It's just one's a point naturally and one's more uh, been shaped or weathered comparatively. And yeah. Those are the crystals that I'm using. Again, this doesn't replace actual medical treatment. It's just what works for me. And to recap on the crystals, there's smoky quartz, tiger's eye, serpentine, cherowite, amethyst, blue tara, or blue amphibole, whatever you want to call it. Um, amazonite, blue lace agate, lapidolite, green calcite, rose quartz, golosite, selenite, golden healer, shungite, and milky candle quartz, or just milky quartz in general. So I hope this was helpful or entertaining. <laughs> I don't feel well and I feel really out of it. I probably shouldn't be filming when I'm sick, but again, like between this and the construction upstairs, my channel just can't be put on the, I don't want to put it on the back burner. I want to keep creating. I'm a little bit of a workaholic in that way. So like, please bear with me. I might be a little out of it for these next few videos because I'm just like, Ooh, I feel funky, <laughs> you know? So yeah, those are the crystals. They're feel-good crystals. I hope this was entertaining at the very least, even if you don't believe in crystal healing. Thank you for watching. This is Hawk or Mary, depending on what you want to refer to me as. Hawk, if you're referring to me with my username. Mary, if you want to use my government name. So uh, yeah, it's me uh, signing out. Stay magical and have a wonderful day. And if you're feeling sick too, I hope you feel better. And I hope some, if you have any of these crystals, I mean, they could help. So uh, even if it's just a placebo. So you have a good day. Bye.